Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Corley and today we're gonna do a makeup tutorial, like just an old fashioned makeup tutorial using the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. Let me show you what it looks like. It looks like this right here. You guys know I raved about this palette on my summer 2018 haul. But yeah, so we're gonna do an eye look. I already have my eyebrows done and I primed this eye using the Maybelline Age Rewind Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Neutralizer. So I'm gonna be able to look into this mirror because it's actually such a great mirror. But um, first shade I'm gonna take is gonna be just peachy right here. So I'm just pulling the peachy shade all throughout my crease, just softly building it up, really just... I'm really taking advantage of the peach shades in this palette because you guys have obviously seen me use a, quite a few shades like peach tea or like peach meringue or peach butter or just all of those normal shades you see me use, the dark browns also. So I'm just really going to try and focus on the unique shades of this palette. And we're going to create an all matte look. And I also want to mention I have not set my eye primer before I started the video. Here. Wow, so pretty. I'm going to take my Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush, the one that kind of low-key looks like MAC 217, I think you can see it. And I'm just going to take the shade Peach Punch right here. This is actually like a really pretty shade. I'm not even going to lie, like this is probably the brightest shade of the whole palette. It's so pretty. So Today we're going to do a half cut crease. I know it's really basic, but an all matte half cut crease just always looks good. Now, maybe to make this a tiny, 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 like itty bitty little bit less pinky, I'm gonna go ahead with the shade called Peach Cobbler. Peach Cobbler right here. It's like a beautiful, how can I explain it? It's so pretty. This whole palette just gives me like the greatest vibes of all time. It's gonna become one of my favorite palettes really quickly because it's all mattes and I love all mattes. So I'm gonna go back with the first shade, just peachy, and I'm just gonna really like blend it into my inner corner right here because I feel as though it has gotten a little lost. And I want her back on track, you feel me? Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Peach Sangria right here, this one right here. It's a satin color, but it doesn't appear satin on the eyes. It appears to be matte, so I'm just gonna pack that like right onto the outer corner of my eye. Basically like all the shades we've been building, so I put it on the outer and then I just run it quickly through my crease like so. This one I'm gonna really make sure I pull it all the way to the outer corner, because when we cut the crease we want it to be very sharp, so we want to have a dark shade here because it's just gonna sharpen up the whole thing. I'm gonna take the shade Peach Tart right here. Oops, I'm sorry, right here. And then I'm just gonna pack that on the very outer corners because I don't want this to be like too dark. I really wanna keep the peach going on. It's so pretty like this. You can see it's really subtle. Nothing too major. Also, this palette has literally no fallout except for the, like, the last shade. I just put no fallout. What I'm gonna do right now is cut my half cut crease and I will be right back on camera. You guys can see I've done my half cut crease. I'm just trying to, oops, my fingers are dirty. I'm trying to blend out the edges a little bit. But the first shade we're gonna go ahead and take is gonna be a mix of peach meringue and peach butter. These two very pale matte sheets here. I've packed these two shades. I'm now gonna take peaches and cream, follow it with just peachy, and I'm gonna start creating the transition into uh, the more peachy shades. I'm gonna take the shade Peach Punch right here, just tap it slightly right here. Because I want this to be like a beautiful peachy ombre, you feel me? And usually what I do is I just go back and forth with the shades until I'm like satisfied. If you have more mature eyes or you have a lot of fine lines in your eyes, um, 
matte shades tend to look way better than shimmers will ever do like that's just a fact you feel me this is the final eye look do we like do we not like i love i live i it's really cute she she's cute or whatever like you feel me wow this is super cute so i'm gonna go ahead do the other eye off camera and i will be right back to see my little babies okay guys i'm back so um i finished the eyes and i used the arabelle lashes from slayx cosmetics you can use my code coco beauty for 20 percent off you can also check my ftc disclaimer in my description box down below if you want to know it is an affiliated code so if you use it i do get a commission just throwing that out there so that if you don't want me to get a commission you don't use it okay don't say i didn't warn you i ain't lying okay for primer taking the ever known benefit the professional i'm just gonna moisturize moisturize what i'm gonna prime like i just it's rough okay so i'm just gonna go like so i recently did a um what's it called my summer foundation routine like full coverage full beat and all of that so i'm gonna take my my maybelline fit me matte and poreless this is basically the same thing so i'm not gonna like really dwell on the, everything i do I'm just gonna dab the foundation all over my face and um yeah like I'm gonna be doing a sealer next. Oh my god, did I tan? Maybe it did tan a little bit. It's fine, we're gonna, we're gonna fix it all using bronzer. <laughs> For concealer, I'm taking my favorite, the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer, multi-use sculpting concealer in the shade Natural Beige. Oh, she's really cute. She's my favorite. I have to use her sparingly though because she is full coverage. I also have this pimple right here. You can definitely see her. Let's call her Samantha. She's hormonal, but like, can she leave? <laughs> okay, so I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me powder to really just set over my face. Y'all know my smile lines be like a major issue of mine. So now off camera, I'm going to do my lower lash line, my lower mascara. I'm going to use the same Too Faced palette and the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And I'm going to be right back to do the rest of the face and the lip. What I've been recently doing is taking my foundation powder and just really focusing it on to the parts where my primer and the foundation like separate. And it's really white just because I want it to blend a little better. So... Just taking that and fixing the few issues we might be having. I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer in the shade Rich Amber. It is my bronzer shade. I'm going to take this little brush right here. Don't know where it's from. Don't care really for where it's from. Just she's going to... I'm going to use it to bronze up my forehead. It's really going to help narrow it down because I do not have a forehead, rather a five head. But um, it's fine. I love my five head to be honest, like come on. So just put a little bit of bronzer on my nose. And now we're gonna just blend it out a little with the Beauty Blender going over all of the edges. So for blush, I'm gonna take the very usual. I'm gonna mix from my e.l.f. blush palette these two shades right here. And it's gonna create a very nice peachy effect. I'm gonna start with the Artist Couture X Jackie Aina Peach Highlighter. I think this is highlighter. It's one of the best highlighters on the market out there. It's so beautiful, it fits so many skin tones. Okay, it's so beautiful. This is a little more of a loose shimmery with like shimmer particles kind of highlighter. You can make it like a very smooth highlighter by just using a setting spray but i really really just don't like it as she is you feel me and um i'm gonna use it on my cupid's bow but not on my nose so on my cupid's bow a little on my chin and a tiny bit on my forehead but because we really want to be glowing for the gods we're not gonna stop at la peach we're gonna take fenty beauty hustler baby i bought this little set that came with the fenty gloss bomb and you have hustler baby so I'm just gonna take this. This is a beautifully, it's like a champagne but like gold highlighter. And I'm just gonna top it off on the Jackie Aina 
as artist couture with peach it's gonna make it like just more blinding and more like pretty oh my god it's so blinding it's beautiful and for my nose that's the only highlighter i'm gonna put on my nose just because it has a smoother look to it and because it's a little smoother i just i prefer to put something smoother on my nose rather than the jackie i know peach for lip gloss i'm gonna finish off with the fenty beauty gloss bomb in the shade fenty glow universal it's the universal shade and that smells so It gives you a tiny little bit of tint, but do you see how glass-like it is? So pretty. You could top it, you could put a peach lipstick on and top it off with this gloss, but I think that really like this is it. So this is it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> don't forget if you like me, my personality, or the content I put up on my YouTube channel, then feel totally free to subscribe. You're very welcome here. We love you. You love us. So, you know, we're just a happy family, if you will. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this look. It, oh, it's so pretty and I love it so much. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.